Right, yeah. So we're just going to do the pry stroke, which is a, a stroke that we use when we want to move away from an obstacle, sideways away from something like the bank or another another boat. And it's quite a simple stroke. We want to insert the blade so that it's covered in with the water. We want to be right angles to the boat. We hold on to the hand grip just like normal up, and then we hold on to the blade, uh, the uh, shaft at the gunnel. And all it is is a simple pull towards you, and then turn the blade back at 90 degrees so that we can just move the boat gently sideways uh, while controlling the blade. So do you want to try that? So holding onto the side, just do it together. Just a gentle movement. Generally, it's only you only have to do it just to move away, so that you can start paddling. You're away from the obstacle, and you're right to go. Then, so we'll just demonstrate and practice a uh, forward sweep stroke and a reverse sweep stroke, and uh, they're very, very versatile strokes for when you're paddling along and you want to do uh, to turn the canoe, especially if you're paddling on one side, between the sweep stroke and the J stroke, you're able to keep the canoe on course. Or if you did, knew, do need to turn the boat, then uh, using the sweep stroke is a, a great stroke to use. It's also one that um, a lot of people like to use to turn the craft right around, and we'll, and we'll practice that. Um, now, to, to do the stroke, we're holding the paddle just as we normally do. We reach out as far as we can. Sorry, my boat's in the way there. Reach out as far as we can. Make sure the blade is in the water. We're actually looking at the blade. To start this, the easy way to, to remember this is if I'm watching the blade and I do a nice big sweep right around like I'm sweeping with a broom to the back, and then just watching that blade, I'm making sure that my body's twisting around. Okay? So if you wanted to want to have a try of that, sorry. So sweeping right around, make sure that the blade is completely in the water and around. Okay, and then automatically we're doing a reverse one as well. So the reverse is just reverse sweep stroke. Is this, is uh, just the uh, almost the opposite of what we've just done. So same hand grip. We want to make sure the blade is completely in the water, and then we're just pulling around, right around. Nice big sweep, and then out. And once again, if you're watching it with your eyes, you've got that body body movement. Uh, you're rock, twisting your body correctly, so that um, you're not just using your upper body muscles to um, do the stroke. So just have a practice with that. So back a little bit further, I think, with the blade in the water. That's it. That's very good. Okay, just stop there. And then one person can go forwards and one person can go backwards now with the sweep. Sweep. And we should be able to just turn on the spot now. Just working together. Very good, thank you. Thanks. Okay, what we're going to do now is the J stroke. Now the J stroke is a great correction stroke. Especially when you've only got one person in the canoe. When we've got uh, two people in the canoe and one person is a powerful stroker at the front, and the person at the back can just do a correction stroke every now and again without swapping sides. Now I'm seeing a lot of you guys swap sides. So you're both paddling on the same side, but you don't need to do that. You can just use a what we call a, a J stroke. Now a J stroke is like a forward stroke when we push the, uh, as we're going forward, we put the blade in the um, into the water I'll just move backwards again so we get close to you. 
Now the J-stroke, so we just start off like we're just normally paddling forward. So I want you to frame your face into the water, the blade at 90 degrees to the, uh, to the um, canoe. I want you to stroke forward, but as you stroke forward, this top thumb, as, it, as, you, as the paddle passes your bum, it needs to start rotating down. As it starts rotating down, you then push out from the back of the canoe. Okay? So we start off as a normal forward stroke. As it goes past the bottom, your thumb points down and you push it out. Now it depends on the amount of correction is how much you push out from the back of the canoe. So can you start doing that? You, could, you normally do this stroke at the back of the canoe to correct what the momentum of the front, what the front canoeist is doing. So Trevor would be, want to change the stroke, change the um, direction of the canoe to the left hand side. So you're going to change, that's it. What I'm looking forward to, look, what I'm looking forward is the, as you stroke through, your thumb tape faces down, you then push away. Now if you do this on your left hand side, you'll actually see the letter J being formed. Now you can do it on both sides of the canoe. Push away, push away, and you can keep the canoe in a straight line. Only one paddler and I'm pushing, keeping the canoe in a straight line. Now a couple of things that can go wrong on a J, on, a, on the J stroke. First of all, your thumb doesn't point towards the bottom of the canoe. It stays up. Secondly, you don't push out enough on the J, so you're not pushing the front of the canoe forward and you're not correcting as much. While most, while we have been teaching you that most of the uh, driving or steering of the boat is done from the back, and uh, the front is the engine. As we've seen with the sweep stroke and the reverse sweep stroke, the front of the uh, canoe can steer the boat. One of this canoe stroke that we're going to show you at the moment is not actually a stroke, but it's actually a rudder stroke. When we were talking about the stern rudder before, we've got the thumbs down. This this stroke at the at the front is when we come up like an object at the front that. Uh, right behind Trevor at the moment, we've got a tree in front of us. Now the person at the back might not see the tree. It's often seen it's a rock lying in the river. So we need to do what we call a bow rudder. Now a bow rudder is, you put your, place your hand at your face. See, you're actually starting to do your, your, uh, your normal um, forward stroke, but this time you change it, you put your, your your hand at the front of your face, so it's on your forehead. Instead of having my my um, oar in the water like this, I actually change it so it's almost vertical, uh, sorry, it's parallel with the front of the canoe. And then I will open it up a little bit. Now, the more I open it up, the far more pressure is on the front. So if your arms start bulging, that means you're doing a lot of uh, work on your arms and you're actually steering the front of the canoe quickly away from an object. This can't be done in the back of the canoe. It can only be done at the front of the canoe. So, Adrian, you're up. Now, what I'm looking for is you put your hands at the front, above your, your top hand. It's got to be at your fore, forehead. It needs to go in the water at uh, parallel with the canoe and then open up the angle the, so the front is away from the canoe. If you open up the other way, you'll just lose your um, paddle straight underneath your ca canoe. So we need to open it up, and if you, the more you open it up, uh, the more uh, you will turn the front of the canoe, but the more pressure will be on your arms. But if you've got a rock um, in front of you and you're moving along, you will open up that blade up. This is only used... Uh, uh, fairly rarely and in an emergency, but as you've seen today, how many rocks will you have in the river that you uh, you couldn't spot? So, if you two like to uh, to paddle, just go over there about 20, 30 metres, paddle towards me, and then uh, Adrian, if you could do a, uh, a bow rudder as you get close. That 
That's it. That's a, that's good. Do you want to do that again? Just keep, keep, keep coming towards me. That's it. Now, Adrian, the only thing is, what I'm looking for is the uh, when you're well, when you're on the rocks here, when you're um, when your blades in the water. I'd like it if you're looking at me. It needs to be. It looks like it's straight head on, not out to the side. But you, you were almost correct. Straight in, and you open it up, and you turn that canoe very quickly. So that's a that's a stroke. It's not a stroke. It's a it's a um, it's a technique of steering your canoe at the front away from a uh, object in an emergency. Sculling drill now. And the sculling drill is good for a continuous side, uh, sideways movement. So with the sculling drill, you need to keep your hand to your forehead out at the side of the boat and you're using your um, paddle to make a continuous figure of eight. So it's on a continuous angle. So in the water, and I'll be moving towards them. So if you guys want to try it going this way. So hands at your forehead. Very good. So make sure the paddle stays out the whole time. Okay, another way of moving to the side towards something is using feather draw. So this is also a continuous one, but you're pulling into the boat. So again, you start off with your paddle at your forehead. You put your paddle in the water, pull towards you, then turn your uh, paddle on a 90 degree angle. Out, pull, out, pull. So your paddle shouldn't get caught underneath the boat at all because of every time you come in it should turn to a 90 degree angle. So keep your hand at your forehead, Richard. At your forehead. And turn it. So make sure you're turning your top hand. When you do it, and turn your top hand. You still bring your hand out a little too far. Thank you. Yeah. This last one is the bow draw. So this one again is one that only the person in the bow can do. So Richard, this is yours. So. When we're going, this is for if you need to, if you see something in the water and you need to turn, but you want to keep the power behind it, because when you rudder, it slows the boat down. So this all is to keep you moving continuously. So what you'll do, again, uh, hand to your forehead. You put your paddle in the water at the 45 degree angle. You pull around and straight back through. When you're ready. When you go this time, Richard, you need to make sure that you reach right out, you put your paddle down in the water properly and do a nice wide pull and through. Is that what I'm saying wrong? Yes, that's why your boat wasn't turning. trouble with this is because this is one of the most difficult strokes to learn for someone who's new to canoeing but once you master it it's a good turning stroke. <laughs> 